everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back. Anyway, to my uh, let's get started. Let's get started. I went, ran out to my P.O. box. And I'm telling you, you guys, my P.O. box, it, it takes a while for them to get. Uh, but if y'all ever have any questions, uh, y'all can start sending me questions in the next couple of weeks. doing today. It is so good to see you again and thank you so so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is a bit of a hodgepodge uh, video for this Monday morning. I believe you're going to be seeing this on Monday morning. Uh, I'm going to do a P.O. Box Love Haul and boy do I have some sweet things to show you. Oh my goodness. I'm blown away once again. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Start out this video in tears. Oh my goodness. Uh, but then I'm also going to uh, morph into some footage of me doing this little tray here in my kitchen. My corner tray with the black lamp in it. I just do a sweet little arrangement in there and it doesn't take me very long at all. So I thought I would put that, you know, little bit of footage in here. And I'm going to talk to you at the end about w what my plan is moving forward here for the next couple of weeks. So anyway, uh, let's get started. Let's get started. I went, ran out to my P.O. Box. I've heard from a couple of these ladies via email, so I knew, actually, no, just two of them. Two of them I heard um, from in an email, and they told me that their stuff was on the way. And I'm telling you, you guys, my P.O. Box, it, it takes a while for them to get things from when the, the, the packages arrive to their facility and to make it to my box is like an extra day or whatever. Now I will say, uh, now again, this is Friday and I'm hoping by the time you see this that my back is better, but you'll probably hear me complaining about it in the videos to come only because those videos are already recorded. I'm finished my decorating pretty much. And I am going to be, those are the videos I'm going to be bringing you to finish it off. Also, as you can see, I've taken the tablecloth off my table. And I'll take you over there and show you that in this video, though. Uh, but anyway, I'll get back to all what I'm going to be doing moving forward here. But uh, let's get started with this little haul here. Oh, my goodness. I got three different packages from three different ladies. This first one is from one of my subbies. She was one of my very first subbies, Phyllis. Her name is Phyllis. And I'm sure you've seen her commenting through the years. I've been on YouTube now two years. Uh, awesome. I've been on YouTube now for about a little over two years. I started in October of 2016. And this lady was one of my very first subscribers. So she sent me some beautiful butterflies. Look. Aren't they pretty? Oh my goodness. And look, they look so real. <laughs> so, you know, Phyllis, I'll find a place for this. Thank you so much for thinking of me, Phyllis. And thank you so much. I was, I can't remember what uh, centerpiece or whatever I was doing, but you know, I will we'll incorporate these somewhere in my decor and you will see it in my home tour. You won't see it in the videos coming forward in the next few weeks of my vignettes and stuff because I've, they were already done and all that footy, video footage is in the, the can, so to speak. But when my home tour comes out, you all will see all of the gifts that I received in my home tour, these included. So hang in there, Phyllis, you'll see them. And you know, I always implement what I get into my decor if I can. And I wear it. Remember, I got this ne pretty necklace a few weeks ago. So I, I always utilize what you guys send me. I never expect you to send me anything, you guys. Please know that, please know that but I'd sure do appreciate it when you do. Anyway, my next one is from, do you remember the lady that made me those beautiful placemats, Jody? Uh, well, she's been at it again, only this time she created a bunny. Look, I've actually made these bunnies, Jody, I wanted to tell you. I've actually made these in the past. Remember, I used to, I used to sell my uh, draft stopper bunnies and little, this is, I think, a 20-inch bunny, if I remember right. I have this pattern <laughs> and used to make this and sell it locally here. Oh, my goodness. She's beautiful, Jody. And her dress, look how beautiful she is. 
Look how beautiful. And her little socks. She's got little socks on. <laughs> and her little pantaloons. Is she just not adorable? Little bows on her head. Look at her. The detail, Jody, is absolutely wonderful. She has a little apron on. It's just, you did a phenomenal job, girl. It looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And you know this little lady will take a very special place in this house somewhere. She will, I will find a very special place for her. And she will, she may just sit in, in one of my chairs here. She may just sit in one of my chairs, I'm not sure. We'll see. But I love her, thank you, Jody. Thank you so much. I love her, oh my goodness. So there she is, and she also sent me this cute little bird, look. <laughs> cute little bird. Turns on and off underneath. Cute. So I will definitely find a place for both of these beauties here in my house. I love it. Absolutely love them, Jody. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. But anyway, then I got something from another lady and she did not give me permission and I've never gotten anything from her that I know of before. Uh, but she sent me a beautiful card. You're, the, you're as sweet as honey. <laughs> very, very beautiful card. I don't know whether she made it, but it's a beautiful card. And she sent me a beautiful message inside. Uh, she's got lovely handwriting. Beautiful, beautiful girl. I'm not gonna say her name though because she didn't give me permission and I don't wanna overstep my bounds. But thank you so much, you know who you are. And wait till you see what she sent me. Oh my goodness, I've never seen anything like this. I look, check out this bunny. <laughs> I love her, she sits up. She's like got, a, got a, 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 like a bean bag on the bottom of her. Look, and she's got like little rivets on the bottom. And she can sit, stand up. So I will stand her somewhere, maybe in my cozy corner. I might stand her in my cozy corner. But look how cute she is. Oh my goodness, check out her hat. <laughs> and she's got some ears and you can pose your ears. Look, <laughs> oh my gracious, she's so cute. And look at the embroidery on her, on her, let me get her up here, on her dress, on her apron. What? No, yeah, it is her, like her pinafore or whatever. What do they call that? Look at the embroidery work. Isn't that beautiful? And look at her carrots. She's carrying some carrots. <laughs> oh my goodness. How cute is she? Oh, you ladies with your bunnies. Thank you so much. I love both of them. I love her. I love her little glasses. She looks like me. She's pretending to be me. You know? <laughs> oh my gracious. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to all three of you ladies. I cherish these gifts. I cherish them. And you know, you know, you know, I will put them out in my house and they will have a very special place in my house. And I will remember you always for taking the time out and, and, and putting the time into making these. Ladies, I've made these before, uh, this one. Anyway, I know the time it takes. And uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedules and making something for me. Oh my goodness, I feel so honored, so honored. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, I love you all. Thank you, Mwah. thank you so much. The corner arrangement. Hey there, you guys, I'm morphing myself back in here. I had completely forgotten, I cannot believe this, that I had saved two cards back that I had gotten in my P.O. box earlier in the week. I did want to bring you the uh, P.O. box haul, P.O. box love haul, until I, because I knew of two of the packages that were coming, and these two beautiful cards were in my P.O. box on Tuesday when I went to check. So I wanted to be sure to share these cards with you and both said that I could share their names. So this one just says, hello. And uh, she just wrote me a lovely, lovely little note. And uh, she is just, the, the words that you guys gift, G-I-F-T, gift to me, 
they are unsurpassed, you guys. I'm telling you, you touch my heart every single day. And she said, you can use my name, no problem at all, and show the front of the card. So here we go, I'm gonna show the front of her card. Isn't that pretty? I am telling you one thing, it says, hello. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, and her name is Nancy Smith. She said, you can use my name, Nancy Smith. So Nancy, thank you so much, honey. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this beautiful card. I will cherish it, honey. I will cherish it. All right. And then the, the other one, can you tell I'm all choked up today? I'm telling you guys, you guys really touch my heart. You really, really do. You don't, you don't understand. And I never ask for anything. Please know that I never ask for anything and never expect you guys to send me stuff. And like I said, when, I, when you do, it's very, very much appreciated. But this one says, because uh, you make life sweet, <laughs> and uh, this is from Friends for the Long Haul. I believe this is from my little friend Ella. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Hi, Ella. Thank you so much, honey. Thank you so, 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 so much. I so appreciate it, honey. Look at that pretty card. Wishing you the sweetest treats, the simplest joys, and the warmest feelings, and the happiest heart. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I love it, I love it, I love it. Again, thank you so much to all of you guys who sent me anything. Thank you for every one of you who ever leaves me a comment. Thank you for everyone who's ever sent me a gift, a package. I, I you know what, you know how they, you know, I, I did wanna say this too, you know, I feel like when I type a sentence, it's as if I'm saying it. People ask me in my blog all the time about Or how do you make it sound like we're talking right to you when you're typing back? Because I type the way I talk. I text the way I talk, you know? The, the, the written word is a powerful, powerful thing. Whether that's in a text or in a card or in a comment, it is a powerful, powerful thing that I take very seriously and I put I, I pour my heart into my words you guys where no matter where I'm typing them or speaking them or writing them you know anyway um, I'm just yammering on aren't I <laughs> all right let's morph over to that centerpiece catch y'all thank y'all so much thank you thank you thank you Mwah. Uh, okay, next I am going to come back to you and talk about what I've got coming up in the next few couple of weeks here and the rest of this week and the next week. But first, let's morph into that footage of me doing that little uh, corner corner arrangement. It's kind of cute. I think it, I think you'll like what I uh, what I did with it over there. Not much. It doesn't take long. So I'll be right back here in just a second and we're going to talk about what I have going on moving forward. Be right back. Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? Thank you so much Just for so stopping good. back by to see what I'm up to. And I'm fighting that sunlight from my windows again here in my kitchen today. So hopefully this won't become one, a video laden with bloopers. Although I wouldn't mind if it did. I don't mind a blooper now and again. It shows you guys that I'm definitely human <laughs> and definitely have problems sometimes. But I'm coming Okie dokie. For those of you who have been with me for a long time, you will recognize what I'm working with here. This is the very back corner of my kitchen. Excuse my dust. Oh my goodness. But this is the very back corner of my kitchen and that lamp I got that lamp from a country store here in town named Dottie's Den. Uh, for those of you who live local, it's over off of Lafayette Boulevard. There's a store over there and there's also one over on the other side of town uh, off of Old Plank Road. I think if you Google them, you can find their addresses. Uh, but that's where I got that lamp. I got the tray years and years ago from Hobby Lobby. And those stars, I don't even remember where I got them. I've had them for a decade at least, you guys. And I'm just going to leave them in there for sure. But here's everything that I have to work with. This was all in one Ziploc bag that says corner tray kitchen. 
So I pulled it out of my coffers, and except for these bunnies. These bunnies I used somewhere else in my decor last year, but I thought I would use them in here along with these couple of little birds. You know, I thought I would pull a little bit of yellow back into this corner just to brighten up the corner a little bit. You can see my measuring cups and my measuring spoons. They are uh, Paula Dean, and I believe you can find at least a version of them on evine.com. I haven't looked lately, but I think Chris found them on there about a year ago. So you can go on evine.com and see if you can't find them. This beautiful plaque in crafting, there are no mistakes, only unique creations. I've been forgetting to say that for the last couple of videos. I have to remember that. That's the saying that I use all the time in, uh, in my videos, and that's the way I really feel when crafting. There are no mistakes, only unique creations. The only mistakes there are are what you deem to be mistakes, and you can fix them, you know? So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, and just make up a quick little tray here using these little elements, and uh, so let's get started. I have this pip berry, which is the, you know, the colors of spring and Easter, just a, a pretty green and cream. So I'm just gonna leave that pip, pip berry in there, garland in there, cause you're not gonna see it. And I'll use that again, I'm sure. So I'm just gonna pile this right on top of that. And I'm gonna, you know, fluff it up a little bit and get it stuck on my bracelet. <laughs> kind of make it look a little bigger than it might be. It's really just providing me a base. You're going to see these pit berries pit peek through, but it's just pretty much to give me a base in here on which to build. So there we go. Remember my little ramekins from when I did my, my ivy table? I'm just going to put one right here, and we're going to put a bunny right back there. I'm not even going to worry about glue dotting her on. She's, she's going to sit there just fine. I'm gonna put the other one over here in this corner, and I don't want her elevated. I just want her to sit prettily like that. And then I'm just gonna start adding, I don't know if I might add the birds, you know, like that, and then maybe this other little fella kind of snug the back a little further. And then I'm just gonna put these little picks all around. I've had these, like I said. I got them last year when I was doing my spring and Easter series, and I'm just going to reuse them again. And there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of sticking things in. dust these off <laughs> is what I'm gonna do. I tell you, with Chris painting, everything got really dusty, I don't know why. I guess it just happens that way when you paint. But anyway, that's it, you guys. I'm really happy with that, that's super cute. All right. Okie dokie, I hope you liked that. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I did with that little corner. I love redoing that corner. That was always a, that's always a dark corner over there, you know, in our kitchen. And I like to lighten it up a little bit. I also wanna go ahead and show you, I think I'll show you this at the end of the video too. I'll do a little end video, ending video of the tops of the cabinets. We put them back together and Chris, after Chris painted. And uh, they're pretty much the same, but I did take the Christmas or the, you know, the holiday ornament elements out and uh, it just added like a blessed sign, but I'll take you around there. And I added a couple of little uh, potted plant thingies from Walmart, not a big deal. So, but I'll, I'll pan around that and that'll end this video. Uh, but I wanted to, and then when I'm done talking here, I'll go over and I'll show you the table too. That's what I'll do. I'll just, I'll morph into, after I'm done my final words, I'll morph into over the table and let you guys see how that looks and then come back over here and show you around the top of the kitchen cabinets. Uh, but I have this video and then I've got two more videos coming up this week. One's on Wednesday, one on Friday. You're seeing this Monday. 
Uh, I have my three-tiered tray coming up, and I have my uh, Ben Sinks My Soul Lantern coming up. I have those two coming up. I also have a corner shelf. You can kind of see it a little bit back there in the corner. Got that with Rich's uh, fabric garland around it. I want to show you how I put that together. And then I also have my powder room. I also did my powder room. So my powder room, I think, will be the last video. And then my home tour will go up on this day. I don't have a calendar in front of me, and I can't... I, I can't think about what that day is, but I'll, it's going to go up on a Friday. It'll go up on Friday, March the whatever, and I'll flash it up there so you guys can see. Uh, but so it's going to be three videos this week, this one, and probably my three-tiered tray, and the, then sings my soul, I'm not sure which order uh, they'll go in. I can't remember what I did first. I think I did the my sings my then sings my soul. I want to do them in order though. One of those, you know, those two will go up when one Wednesday, one Friday, and then next uh, Monday will probably be uh, the corner shelf, and then Wednesday will be the powder room, and then the next Friday will be my home tour. Yay! I can't wait to bring you the home tour. I can't wait. I love showing you the whole thing. Yes, you guys see snippets and you see walls in the background and stuff. But I love to hold you back and let you look all the way through and wait till you see this paint job, you guys. Chris did an amazing, an amazing, an amazing job. Also, too, I will make, be making trips to my P.O. Box, you know, and if I have an extra video to put in there with a P.O. Box haul or if I do a shopping haul or something like that, I'm not planning on doing any shopping. I really don't need anything. But if I do, you all know that I'll be bringing that to you, too. And then after my home tour, I'm not sure what I'm gonna, where I'm gonna go or what I'm gonna be doing. I will be doing some outside decorating on my front porch. That'll probably be like my red, I'll, I'll probably do a lantern topper for out there for spring. I'll probably do the red wagon decor for another one out there, my mailbox for spring, you know. So I'll, I'll have some videos with that going on. I'm also thinking for you travelers out there, I know a lot of you follow me on my Arlen's travel page, but I think on this channel, and I'll put it on that channel too, I think I'm going to do a review of some carry-on bags that I've had some experience with, and, and uh, one very special bag that Chris got me. I want to show that. I haven't shown it because it is a kind of a pricey bag, but I want to, I mean, you know, people from all walks of life, you know, watch. And so I want to give all options. And I think I'm going to go, uh, you know, a few Vera bags and I'm going to go up through uh, some travel bags that I have for carry-ons that I use for my carry-ons. So I'm going to do that. I'm also going to be doing uh, some other cruising wardrobe videos. I may be doing some organizing videos here on the Ivy table. I've got just some catch-up stuff. You know, when you're decorating in a series like this, things kind of go to the wayside. And I've got to put my attention on some of this organizing and getting myself, you know, in better shape. My garage is a hot mess right now. I need to get out there and do something with that. I need to have a bunch of florals. I've got a bunch of ribbons again. You know, so I'll be bringing you stuff. It may not be decor stuff, you know, uh, so much, but I'll be, you know, I'm just good. Like I said, I'm going to take you through my life naturally as I go through my life. So, um, but anyway, so that's it, I think. I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to tell you and bring you up to date, kind of. And uh, like I said, if I, you know, I have all my videos in the can, but if I have something else I want to bring to you, of course I will. There may be a surprise video there, here or there, but if not, please don't be disappointed. <laughs> you know, I, as I say, I'm just going through my life. So also too, if y'all have any questions, I, I haven't done, I know I have not been doing my lives. And I, as you all know, I had to stop my lives. I just had to. I feel like a, a, a weight was lifted off of my chest. You guys, uh, would be not. I miss you guys that I talk to in my lives terribly, but I, I just couldn't do them. There were too many trolls, uh, I, and it was too hard for me to be holding to a same time every Friday. I just, I also don't want to be that organized and that regimented, you know. So. Anyway, regardless, uh, but if y'all ever have any questions, uh, y'all can start sending me questions in the next couple of weeks in your comments, and then I could maybe do a big Q and A. You know, you when know, I'm done. I would certainly be glad to do that. Up to tw you know, how about if I take the, the first twenty questions that come in? So you know, if you have any questions, ask me, and I'll start putting them on a sticky note, and then after my home tour, I'll do a Q and A. How about that? That'd be fun, I think, huh? Something different. 
So, all righty, you guys, that's it. So let me go into some final words here. Uh, I hope that all is well with everyone. And I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope you have someone there with you, helping you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And remember, in crafting, there are no mistakes, only unique creations. If you hear a little buzzing in the background, that's Chris taking, uh, grooming Sam, actually. Sam is getting a good haircut. He got a bath and he's getting a haircut. <laughs> So that's what's going on over there. I just want to tell you that just in case you hear that in the background. But anyway, uh, I'm going to morph into a little video, silent video, just to music of my table and around the tops of the cabinets. And with all that said, I'll just say until next time, which will be Wednesday this week, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.